okay my hat is drying okay so why it's drying in here this is like a fabric dye okay so while this hat is drying on this block we're just gonna do something like this <laughs> And I do have a bag under here, so it's not going to get on the bed. So you do kind of what you like, okay? So that color. And maybe a little this color. But yeah, when you're doing your hat, you just kind of think about like what you want to do. Uh, this ain't the same color. <laughs> That's turquoise. It wasn't the color. Same color I thought it was. But this is kind of how I get inspired. I just sit back and think of it, uh, get ahead and just kind of just go in it and it's art so don't be afraid to live a little when you're doing art that's what makes art so unique so, this kit, I got it as a gift. People know I like to make stuff, so somebody just brought me this red kit. So, this is, so far, it's on the mold drying. It's still wet, and wet stage. So I will stop it and do, like, let, the, let some color kind of do what it needs to do, and... That's that, and I also have the fuchsia that's drying. So, we're gonna let these finish drying overnight. Just want to bring y'all back on board. So, when you wanna get creative, you could be creative, and it's just, for me, it's art. I um, just find stuff I like and, and make it, and I try to make, every hat that I'm going to touch. I try to make it different. So like if you look at, well I'll show y'all tomorrow, but if I, I got another hat that kind of got some blues and stuff in it, so I don't want to have them similar. So I always will switch it up. So I won't be afraid to switch it up. So, so far. I'm going to put this back on the fan and let it dry 24 hours. It's going to dry in this shape. And then once it dry in this shape, with the paint and everything, I'll figure out uh, if, what, well, this is the shape I want, how wide I want the brim. If I want to cut some more off, I'll press it out. I'll, uh, so, it's, oh, the great thing about these, when y'all see me do felt hats, there's a lot of buffing. When you're using this uh, capelling, capelli, um fabric, there's no buffing, so I don't got to do any buffing. Even with that one, there's no buffing. So you just go, these, to me, are much easier. Well, all of them is, is not bad. But when you're doing the felt, you have to do the buffing and stuff like that. This one, I don't got to worry about buffing. Whoop! <laughs> I'm going to worry about it going on the floor. So I don't have to buff these. So, yeah, I go, tomorrow will be the pressing. So tomorrow, I press out the brim and figure out how wide I want it. Then I decide what shape I want it. I steam it. And then we'll put it, put the shellac on, because y'all know I like my brim to be, you know. So that's just how you do it. Um, I really enjoy doing these. And we're going to let this dry, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Toodles.